Hello, this video is how to use the district progress sheet to help the missionaries accomplish the expected outcomes of the MTC. And to access it, you simply go to Teacher Share um, and you access the teacher log, and there should be a sheet that has your room number and then progress. So, for example, you look at mine and it says um, 350C progress. Um, it should look something like this. Um, you'll notice that the sheet shows the key activities that the missionaries need to accomplish before they leave the MTC. Um, I'm going to go over each one individually starting with the progressing investigator area since that's the most important activity here at the MTC. Um, you'll notice that the progressing investigator area of the progress sheet is broken down into weeks. Please note that each week has a certain number of visits that the missionaries are expected to make that particular week which is stated up here in the top bar. Um, each week has a bunch of slots available to write down appointments in specified by which teacher will be the progressing investigator. For example, I know that since my district is in the first week that I need to plan two teaching appointments for, for each companionship. I've already broken that down or I've already looked at the zone coordination document on Google Drive and I know that Hermano Heap is going to be my progressing investigator on Friday and Saturday. So I'm going to write in here Friday. I'm going to say Hermano Heap. Or I'm going to say Juan. And that's actually Hermano Heap. And I'm also going to say Saturday. And that also is going to be Juan Hermano Heap. Alright. Next. Um, I know that each teaching companionship is going to be teaching once a once per teaching appointment so each teaching companionship will teach on Friday and then on Saturday so elders Anderson and Brown Carlton and Davis whoops Eckley and Frank Goodman and Harris are all going to be teaching on Friday and they will all be teaching again on Saturday. Alright, look at that. So the important part of this to note is that each companionship will be teaching twice. So elders A and B and A and B, they've taught twice, they're scheduled to teach twice during this first week. It's the same for all the other companionships, elders C and D. E and F and G and H are all going to be teaching twice. Um, so therefore I can say um, down here I can put yes <coughs> which is part of the progress just that's just a check to make sure that I know that or I've planned that all of my missionaries are going to be teaching the adequate number of times um, in their first week. Um, it's okay if they teach more, but it's important that they teach too. Um, so let's say Friday comes around, and I know that all of the companionships taught on Friday, or Admonal Heap tells me that all of the companionships have taught. I simply, in here, I simply put in a 4, which lets uh, the sheet know that all companionships um, taught that night, and that each companionship has taught one lesson this week. Then after Saturday comes around, and when all um, companionships teach a lesson on Saturday to a mono heap, the sheet tells me that each companionship has taught twice, and therefore um, we are clear for the goals for this week. Now, let's say that I were to plan for their second week. I know that this week they have to teach at least three times, um, but I want to make, but because I like for my missionaries to teach as much as possible, have as many teaching opportunities as possible, I want them to teach four times. Um, I know from my coordination sh sheet that on Monday, Edmano Heap is once again going to be teaching as Juan. Whoops. Also on Tuesday. And on Wednesday. And once again, this, um, I got this from my zones coordination sheet and what it is will vary depending on what uh, who the teachers are who are available the times your missionaries need to teach and what your coordination document says 
Um, so in my case, I know that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the missionaries will be teaching Juan. I also know that on Friday, um, that I am going to be their per their new progressing investigator, and so Jose is going to be taught, and that's me, Hermano Cotton, and also on Saturday. So, what I can do is schedule, I know that on Monday, since they'll still be teaching their first investigator, they're going to have three hours to teach. Therefore, elders A, B, C, and D, E, and F, and G, and H are all going to teach. And that will likewise happen on Tuesday and Wednesday. Oops. However, on Friday and Saturday, we will only have an hour to do the progressing investigator activity. That means that I um, have to make sure I'm going to have to split the missionaries up. But even so, I want to make sure that they get the same number of teaching opportunities. Um, so, I'm going to say on Friday, elders A and B and C and D are going to teach. But on Saturday, elders E and F and G and H are going to teach. Um, and I go through and I make sure, um, I know it says at least three, but I wanted four like I'd planned. And so I have each companionship teaching four times, so three times here. So one, two, three. And then each companionship teaches again. Um, two of them on Friday and two of them on Saturday. One, once again, once these activities are completed, I will go through... Um, either um, Hermano Heap will let me know, um, or I will find out that all four companionships have taught. Um, and then for these days, after they've taught me, I will enter in the number of companionships who taught me those days. Um, and so the sheet will keep track of it, and I will be able to see how many lessons were completed this week per companionship. So this is the progressing investigator part of the sheet, and it happens, um, there's a section like this for every week of their stay at the MTC, week 5, week 6, week 6, week 7. I'd like to briefly go over the other parts of the sheet. Um, it specifies various activities that need to be done sometime before um, the, end, uh, their end of, the end of their stay at the MTC. For example, these are first week activities, second week activities, fundamentals, one to two should be done every week. Um, lessons from chapter three and language activities. Um, so when these activities are planned, when I plan them or expect them to be done, I simply write the date that I expect them to be done. Let's say I expect it to be done on the 14th of January. And when it's actually done, whether it's that day or a different day, it doesn't matter. I put that in and the sheet tells me how I'm progressing towards this. And this way we can keep track of the important activities that are done uh, or that your district does um, over their stay.